think and dim the light which shines from within welcome back viewers to the get it cost show where trending issues are saved hot 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 and hot i'm your host Jenila. the show is proudly brought to you by access media institute and alice beauty parlor access media institute is the number one private media institute in ghana approved by GES and affiliated to ICM UK. They offer both diploma and HND courses in journalism and media. You can locate them off Amasaman Obum Highway inside the Wuni Plaza building. For more inquiries, contact Arches Media Institute on 0244-494-577. 0244-494-577. Arches Media Institute, the same favorite with professionalism. My hair and makeover is by Alice Beauty Parlor. Contact them on 0532 394 056. 0532 394 056. A quick commercial break. We'll be right back. Salut, bonjour à tous. I'm Erika Josia, a proud former student of Arches Media Institute. Thanks to Arches Media, I achieved my goals and my dreams have come true. And today, I'm working as a journalist with the Pan-African TV, Africa News. To you who have always dreamt of becoming a great journalist, I will recommend to you only one school and the best one, Arches Media Institute. With more than eight years of experience in training journalists from several countries, including Congo, Gabon, Kenya, and many more, Arches Media is the private media school you can really trust. Arches Media is located in Accra, Ghana. You can call them to the number below your screen. Arches Media, integrity with professionalism. Thanks for staying on. It's still the Get It Hot Show, where trending issues are said. Hot, 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 and hot. I'm your host, Daniela. Trending today from the camp of the NPP, outgoing member of parliament for the good people of Asim Central and aspiring presidential candidate on the ticket of the new patriotic party, Honorable Kennedy a Japan, has reaffirmed his stance on taking the presidential race to the very end. Speaking to a session of his delegate, the outspoken politician and businessman made it clear to his delegates and supporters at a private meeting that he's not going to step down for anybody. According to him, this race is going to go to the very end and may the best man win. He cited incidents that happened at the recently held superdelegate conference that caused an outrage when some of his polling agents were chased out of the premises. Kennedy and Japan called for unity as the party goes for its presidential and parliamentary primaries come November 2023. Hmm. Interesting times ahead. Moving on to our next trending story in Uganda. A Uganda church has achieved a notable feat by setting a new Guinness World Record for the longest applaud. In the capital city of Uganda, Kampala, the devoted followers of Fenero Ministries Church assembled to commemorate their church's ninth anniversary with a spirited event known as Clap for Jesus. The congregation clapped their hands for an impressive duration of three hours and 16 minutes. Their collective applause with a consistent and resonate sound level, registering at average of 88.5 decibels. In doing so, the Uganda Church surpassed the previous record of two hours and five minutes, which was held by Clark Stevens and the Festival of Awesomeness in the United Kingdom in 2019. In another trending story, a popular Sinyani based radio presenter is in the grip of the police for allegedly having anal sex with his 11 year old biological daughter. The suspect, Clement Oti, also a taxi driver, known in the media space as Shabati, had purportedly had sex, including anal sex, consistently with the victim for the past one year. Speaking in an interview with the Ghana News Agency, the mother of the victim explained she realized some abnormalities on the victim's body. And when she questioned her, the victim confirmed the immoral act between her and the suspect. She said medical reports confirmed the act and therefore appealed to the police to be expeditious in their investigation. A reliable police source that confirmed the story 
So the DNA, the Bono Regional Office of the Domestic Violence and Victim Support Unit, DOFSU, was handling the matter. Moving on to our last training story from the camp of the NDC, I had a scenario former National Vice Chairman of the Opposition National Democratic Congress, NDC, has won individuals within the NDC against prioritizing personal interest over the party's success. He has said that these individuals are prematurely focusing on the 2028 election instead of concentrating on securing victory in the crucial 2024 elections, where the NDC aims to propel John Dramani Mahama to a second term. Speaking to some party members, he emphasized that 2024 election should take precedent for the NDC and its members. That's all for today on the Get It Hush Show right here on TVP TV. I remain your lawyer host, Daniela. The show was probably brought to you by Access Media Institute and Alice Beauty Follow. If today's your first time coming across my videos, kindly subscribe, comment, like, and share. TVP Multimedia DH.com has more news. Stay tuned.